Good day ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Sage One Accounting webinar. The topic that will be handled in this webinar is creating and assigning user permissions. Person up most, I would like to thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to attend today's webinar. My name is Tisneem and I will be taking you through. There are various administration functions available. These functions are not only for a specific company but will apply to all companies that you create. Creating users. Under the administration menu on your menu bar, select manage users. You have the option to add an accountant, alternatively to add a user. The manage users screen displays the users that you have added to the company. On selecting add a user, the following window will appear, which once again does give you the option to select a regular user or an accountant. When adding a user, Add all necessary information including an email address that is extremely important. The email address needs to be correct and in order for a link to be sent out to the user to link up to your company. Add the necessary information, click on save and once you have done so under administration manage users the user will then be available. If you have no users remaining, you would be unable to add users. This is the function that you would use to give your accountant access to your company as well. To add your accountant, click on Add an Accountant and you will then add the necessary information. When a user is added to the Manage User screen, they only have access to the company that you are transacting in. To give the user access to other companies, you would need to access the administration control user access. In the following screen, a list of all your companies will appear above the list of users that you have invited and to the right the users that have access to this particular company. In order for you to grant an alternate user access to another company, select the company then drag and drop the user that you wish to give access to that company and click on save. If you wish to remove a particular user from this company, delete the user and he will no longer have access to that particular company. Once the user has been granted permission, changes have been saved, you are then allowed to set permissions. In the following window, you have the option to set permissions that is applicable for that particular user. You do so by expanding the main menu option by clicking on the plus sign and grant users permissions by selecting the checkbox next to the option allowed to the correct allocation. Once you have created the user permissions, click on save and that user will then only have access to the permissions granted to them. We have reached the end of the webinar and I do hope a lot was taken in. Please feel free to join me on another future webinar.